now on BBC One Wales and on HD, celebrate St David's Day in style with Owen Money and Friends. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats for the entertainment event of the year. With West End star Sophie Evans. Welsh tenor Wynn Evans and pop icon Shaking Stevens. Plus, we find out more about the funny man from Merthyr. And here's your host of the evening. Please welcome to the stage of the Foreigners Theatre for the evening, Mr. Owen Money. Welcome to the Foreigners Theatre at Lathley, and this is the first TV show they've ever done here in this fantastic theatre, isn't it brilliant? Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And the show is presented by a very funny man from Bertha, me. Yeah. Oh my God, Bertha people in! Yeah. Nice to see you. I've been in Bertha last Saturday, it was on a sponsored mountain climb, Kill a Man for the Gyro. <laughs> and I've got to say, it's... Uh, I can't believe so, much, so many beautiful women in this audience tonight. And uh, there's a couple of ugly ones, you know, but uh, <laughs> I'm not going to point you out. You know who you are, right? <laughs> you beautiful, you are, I've got to be honest. You are. No, not you, the one behind you. But... <laughs> well, today is St. David's Day, the only Saint's Day that's named after a shopping centre in Cardiff. <laughs> it's, it's a day when we celebrate things that are are great about Wales, things like uh, the great scenery, uh, friendly people, the Welsh Assembly. Aww. Well, two or the three is not bad, I'm going to bet. <laughs> well, I actually thought about going into politics, but it's a bit of a cutthroat business, isn't it? You know, one day you could be in the Senate debating big issues, the next day you could be out in the street selling them. But, uh, <laughs> I was saying this to the taxi driver that brought me here tonight, Limpid Opic. <laughs> Limpid Opic, not just an ex-politician, but 300 points to scrabble at it, I tell you. <laughs> but I'm living in Port Call now, tax reasons, and uh, <laughs> we got people from Port Call in, where are you? Yay! Nice to see you. You've got to be old to live there, look at them. <laughs> oh, they're all old in Port Call, and they got it. <laughs> Even the shop windows are by Port Call. <laughs> But they do cater for the older people in this country. I go to a lot of the, uh, the care homes, and every Christmas Eve I go to this one in Port Call, in the centre of Port Call, it's great. And they're all in their 90s, and then I try to entertain them, you know, it's, it's hard work, like. It's like the Gurners Club all over again, they were. Like. I had a stare innovation. I came up to say, there's a woman on her front, she's 98. I said, did you enjoy me? She said, you were, you were mad lass. I said, do you know who I am? She said, no, she said, but if you ask the matron, she'll tell you. <laughs> but I've noticed when people get older, they change. Like ladies, I've got to be honest, ladies, you, you, you grow old gracefully. And, and some of you, your hair goes like cauliflower, but most of you are great. <laughs> but you can always tell the age of a man, because... The older he gets, the higher he wears his trousers. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 60, 70, 80. My father's 97, and we feed him through his life. <laughs> and he's in one of them sheltered accommodations, you know, where they pull the string and they all come running. I went over to see him the other week, he's 97. I said, How's it going, Dad? He said, How's a bad son? What are you doing? He said, I'm doing a jigsaw, the big chicken. I said, put the cornflakes back in the box now. Then. <laughs> there's an old fella driving on the motorway and his mobile phone goes. He picked the phone up and says, Why should I? What are you? He said, I'm on the M4 by sound services. I'll be home now in 10 minutes. He said, Be careful, die. Just come on the radio, yeah? There's one motorist driving the wrong way down the motorway. He said, one. He said, there's bloody hundreds of them. He said. (laughs) 
I tell you what, though, it's been uh, it's been a funny old month, hasn't it? You know, uh, about four weeks ago, they found the remains of King Richard III's body in a car park in uh, Leicester. They are now looking for the remains of his horse in every supermarket in the country. <laughs> It started in one supermarket, though they're all jumping on the bandwagon, aren't they? They reckon it's not their fault. They haven't got four legs to stand on, I gotta go. It's in Littles now, my little pony. If you're gonna get bread to go with it, don't ask for a cob, whatever you do. I was in the I was in the supermarket the other day, I got a bag of burgers, it kept jumping the queue. 